Hello again my local fans and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm responding to a couple of requests from my Instagram and my YouTube channel on my eShops Nano Skimmer. A lot of you guys want to know how I tune it, how to get the best skimming out of it, and how do I have it placed in a tank. So in today's video, yeah it's going to be a little short, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Stay tuned. Alright guys, this is how I have my nano skimmer set on my Innovative Marine Nouveau 10. Now I usually keep the pump just a little bit above your preferred waddle level. And with an automatic top off, this should always be consistent. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the cup off. Now I don't like wet skim it, I like it more on the dry side. So I usually have about half an inch from the top of the skimmer body to the top of the bubbles. And I do this by sliding the magnet up and down until I have the desired length. I've also removed the foam insert at the bottom as I believe the skimmer works more efficiently this way. I also check the silencer and make sure there is no water in it as this also prevents the skimmer from working its best. I usually clean my skimmer cup every third day and the skimmer body once a month. And this is how I keep my eShops Nano Skimmer. So guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you found this video helpful to you guys and able to tune in your skimmers. If you have any other questions about the eShops Nano Skimmer, please leave a comment down below or hit me up on my Instagram. That's also going to be in the description. And again, if you like what you see and you want to see more of my local adventures, don't forget to like share this video and definitely please hit that red subscribe button so you can get notified of my future videos and as i always say keep living la reef life local